identity crisis. I'm no longer a cat or a polar bear. I'm a dog. Okay. <laughs> so good morning to you. <laughs> good morning, everybody. I am, it's actually afternoon and I am still in my pajamas and I still have my blankets because I'm cold. <laughs> it's 61 degrees outside. outside. <laughs> and But I'm cold. Oh. I don't know what's going on. Why am I cold? Because. I'm not supposed to be cold. Oh, well. You're becoming a Californian now. I've been here how long and now I'm becoming a Californian? I suppose, and because she's been killing me. And keeping, now we're moving? Keep, keeping <laughs> this house in icebox forever. <clears throat> I am going to attempt to finish tiling in the kitchen. So not much left, but um, I'm going to do some changes that I will make my life a little easier. And I'll show you those. <laughs> and that's pretty much all I got planned for today. You know what I have planned for today? What? Well, it's the holidays. You can do that. And watching videos or TV. Great. Mm-hmm. And I better let the dogs in before they tear the place apart. I'm not sitting. I'm not staying. So, good morning, everybody. It's a real nice day out here today. The wind has ended. The uh, sky is quite beautiful. We've got some uh, upper strata winds going on. Um, it's just a nice day. I'm going to cut my last of my tiles, get that all up, and then I can put away all this wet off stuff and clean up in my garage a little more and uh, get closer and closer to finishing that kitchen. Very close. But uh, we have to put Christmas and New Year's away before I can actually finish it. Okay, so I'm on my home stretch here on the uh, tiling. My last set of uh, cuts for the top. I got something interesting for the top because I I have this great stone molding going up around the the, uh, the window, but I'm not going to be able to cut a 45 and continue across. I'm just not going to be able to, and I'm going to be crowning the the uh, ceiling. And that'll be in the way, so I won't be able to do that. So what I'm actually going to do is continue this round over here that I have. And I'm going to put it across the top. Okay, so my garage is an absolute mess, as it usually is. So I need to make some uh, table saw cuts here. I'm going to use some quarter-inch uh, hardboard. I like using this to do what I'm doing. I'm just going to use, it's just going to be furry strip to hold up the tile. But um, I just hate having to deal with the garage like this. And there's nothing I can do about it today. Okay, so I have fired up my compressor. And I've got my brad nailer out. And I am using the smallest brads I could find. These are 5 eighths of an inch. So it's going to go into I'm just like three-eighths of an inch into my wood. I want to use as few as possible. I don't want to have a lot of holes to fill when I finish here. Okay, so I'm just going to use the tile as a guide for how much of this is, needs to be exposed just to hold it up. Scare me. And put one there, and that should hold it. I'm scaring the natives, apparently. Okay, that's enough of the noise. Alright, so I have buttered my first one. Make sure which side you want facing down because that's the side that's going to be seen. And I've cut up some of my spacers so I have enough. And here we go.
Okay, so I've gotten the backsplash pretty much done. Didn't film any of it because it's pretty boring. But uh, I have the uh, picture frame all the way up to this tile that I did earlier. And I have to, in, instead of painting from this point up, I'm just going to continue this tile all the way up. So the whole back wall here is tiled. So I have to make those cuts for about an inch and a half on each side. And I was going to put a piece of wood up here. I think I talked about it before. Probably oak that was going to be darker stained to match these cabinets. But I decided not to do that. I still have some of this tile, which is the countertop tile. And I am going to cut the countertop tile about halfway up that wall there. And uh, find out how, much, how far down my crown is going to come. So I don't want to have them overlap because I want to be able to shoot nails into the crown, so I'll have to glue it. All right, so these are gonna go next to the cabinet, between the cabinet and the frame. Uh, every one of them needs a, uh, a beveled edge. One's gonna be a straight cut edge and one is beveled. And I didn't want to waste a bunch of, of tiles just cutting ends off. So I need to bevel a couple of them and I'm gonna use my belt sander to do that. Okay, so this is the crown I'm going to be using in this room, and the roof line is not straight. It's something I've been worrying about since we started this, how it's going to look. Uh, you could even tell by looking at it that it's just not straight. I don't know why. All I did was replace the, the drywall. But all I'm going to do right now is I'm going to mark it with a pencil all the way across, and I'm going to measure to see where my longest section is going to be and make sure that there's just enough tile to cover that section. Okay, so this is what I'm doing. I'm, uh, up at the top, I'm going to put this tile up there. This is what's actually on the countertop. And I've got, I've got plenty of it. Unfortunately, there, I have two different runs, so the color's a little different. But I've got plenty of each to make it match. And I think I'm gonna go with the darker instead of the lighter. Now my big concern is I really only need a half, one and a half inches and that, that might break. So I'm going to do one cut to see if it's going to break on me and I need five of them. So we'll see how that works out. Okay, so I made my cuts. I hope you can see them. They're the same color as the counter, same material. I do have a couple of crack breaks, and I have a chip, but I should be able to hide those. And if I can't, I still have some more of this, so I can do some more cuts, but I don't want to do any more cuts. So I'm going to put these up, and I will be done for the day. So, all the tile has been set. It's going to be crown going up there. We have almost a post and little kind of uh, setup. I have uh, tile going all the way down the wall. You didn't have to scribe the cabinets or put scribe molding up. Used tile. I like doing that. Did that in the bathroom as well. So hopefully tomorrow, maybe the next day, I will be uh, grouting. And that is the last step. And the kitchen will, or at least the kitchen tiling, We'll be done. Yay! And uh, then I have to work on this drywall ceiling. Yay! Yay! So everybody, I hope you enjoyed hanging out with us today. It was mainly Kevin doing work in the kitchen.
Yay! Which is almost done! Yay! <laughs> At least the tiling is almost done. <laughs> then we got to do the crown and the painting and... Is that it? Uh, I have to do uh, the door jam. Uh, round two of the door. The door trim. The door trim. The trim. And the still crown. have base to do. I still have chair rail to do and uh, crown in the dining room and I'm gonna have to steal from the front room he better get his foot working he doesn't do anything all day long except sit around <sighs> he knows I'm kidding anyway guys I hope you enjoyed hanging out with him today and doing some of the kitchen work with him and if you did please give us a great big thumbs up if you haven't already please press that little red subscribe button down below and join the neighborhood community and share this video with your family and friends and we will see you guys all tomorrow bye